Hello and welcome to Real Estate in Focus. Whether you're an investor having residential properties that you're renting or you have a house that you're living upstairs and you're trying to find tenants for your basement, whatever the case may be, I think finding tenants has a system that I'm going to disclose to you today. First of all, you have to go on Google and search for similar properties in the market that are renting that is in your neighborhood. You will compare their features, their uh, sizes, their prices. And in terms of prices, if you're listing, list at a price that is totally different. For example, not 600 or 900, 797, 649, because when these prices are listed on online websites, it comes like a pattern. If your price is different, it catches attention. Now, when you're trying to uh, advertise, you can be very creative. Other than online advertising, you should have your for rent sign at the property. You can have things that are listings that you can prepare and distribute it in grocery shops, coffee times, uh, local uh, hospitals, you can even have military bases if it is near your places, universities, colleges. All these flyers should be distributed to as many places, boards, and postings as possible. Now, in terms of timing, if you're advertising in a local paper, keep in mind that timing is everything. The first 10 days of any month is the most effective time to advertise because this is the time that renters have given their notices and they're planning to move. Then the second uh, timing that is maybe good is the end of the month, the last 10 days, because this is the time that some renters maybe were looking for properties and they were not able to find it, so they're ready to go pack and move into your place. Having said that, keep in mind that renters that move a month before they give you a notice and they move into your house, they usually stay twice longer than people that just come a couple of days before end of the month and move right away. Other thing to consider, if you have many properties, it is better to have a toll-free number. It increases 35% that potential people will call you. And of course, you should keep a track of these people that are calling you so that you know which medium whether it is online or flyers or local paper, which medium is the best working for you so that you can continue advertising. One of the other things that most of us we don't do is we don't provide the address of these properties. Provide the addresses. Let people walk by, drive by. You avoid wasting your time with people that are not interested in that location or in that property. Before I go, as you can see here behind me on the monitor, there are some stats that we have that are very profound, and you should know about it. As you can see, curb appeal. 28%, 28% renters consider first and foremost because of your landscaping and outside and how the curb looks. The other 28%, so that's in total more than 50%, is your walkways, the entrance, the doors, the knobs. And then the third uh, number, biggest number, is the 20% if they feel secure in that place. Only 18% is the price an actual suit, the actual room, an actual unit. So if you look that more than 75% of the decision is based not on the price and the room, but rather it is based on how secure they feel, how is the curb appeal, how clean is the entranceway and the doors. So you having all this information, take this information and implement it so that you can get your tenants as soon as possible. Thank you.